Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be pretty short because uh, it's, it will be, uh, I will explain my next part of the turbo upgrade project, which is actually my first setback. Um, and the setback is that everything is going to take a little bit longer to get uh, going. Why is that? Because uh, the turbo builder has found a problem with the turbo I sent to them. Now, if you've seen uh, part one of the project videos uh, series, then uh, you know that I have um, bought a used turbo, which was supposedly in a very good condition, but now that they've torn it apart, they found some damage to the housing that um, they just don't want to, they don't want to connect their brand to it. Um, here's a picture of uh, what they found. There is a, a small crack in the uh, turbine housing um, and therefore um, the turbo is not really good for an upgrade. Now the good thing is that this doesn't stop me however. So I've already ordered a new turbo and uh, the good thing is is that the tuner can do uh, I've ordered it with the tuner uh, himself so he's gonna uh, be ordering a new turbo he's gonna be upgrading that and he's gonna send that to me and the the very nice thing is that I uh, asked what my options were and they were very kind to actually refund me the previous uh, price just everything done in let's just say an hour so I'm gonna have my um, previous price uh, refunded and um, when I um, when I heard that I actually made the order to order a new turbo. So it's gonna take a little bit longer because you're gonna have to uh, modify this one as well. But it's gonna be a completely new, completely new part. So that's cool. A completely new turbo, modified by them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what it does. So um, yeah, this was a small update. Um, the previous video, I asked, I asked you to be a bit patient. Now, for now, I just assume that the timer is going to be set to zero again. Um, I'm going to ask you again to be patient for a while, but it's going to be even better because the turbo is going to be brand new. Um, about 50 more horsepower than the stock turbo. So, uh, in theory, we should be able to get 340 to 350 horsepower from the Golf GTE. So, stay tuned, keep an eye on the channel. And um, next video is probably gonna be about the uh, downpipe, which I have done some uh, research on what's gonna be the best uh, thing to do. And um, yeah, I've narrowed it down to uh, a couple of options. So uh, stay tuned for the next video, and like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you around. 